hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Today we have a vinyasa class. It is all levels. So grab your mat, maybe your blocks or straps, and let's begin. So today we're going to start in Shabasana. So lay flat on the mat, windshield your feet, mat width apart. Take your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Relax in the shoulders, the neck, the head. Connect into your breath. And begin by bringing your awareness inwards. Opening your inner ear. Listening to the breath flowing in and out of the body. Feeling present with every breath. And letting go of anything that doesn't serve you any longer. Allowing the space to create and to welcome anything you want to see in your life. You can practice retention, so at the top of your inhalation, hold your breath and stay full for three, two, one, and then slowly start exhaling, deflating the belly. And when you get to the bottom of the exhalation, Pause and stay empty for three, two, one, and just start all over. Do it at your own pace, acknowledging the sensations and the emotions of your body. Sweep the arms overhead and give yourself a morning stretch. Pointing toes, flexing, engaging the whole body. Now draw the knees to the chest and give yourself a hug, rocking side to side or finding stillness. Massage in the lower back. Keep your right leg in and extend your left leg to the front of the mat. Giving that right leg a big hug. Pulling that right knee a little closer to the chest. Maybe a little closer to the mat. And you have the option to take your left hand on top of the left hip. And just press down on the hip, keeping the hip flat, flat on the mat. Take your left hand to the right knee and take your right leg for a twist and take your right arm all the way to the side, creating a twist, keeping the right shoulder on the mat. And just breathing here.
bring the right knee back to the sky and then gently take the right leg all the way to the front of the mat. Inviting the left knee in and give the left knee a hug. Using the strength of the left arm to pull the left knee a little closer, maybe taking the right hand to the right hip and just pressing down on the right hip. You can have your right leg engaged or relax. Right hand to left knee, left arm reaches out and take your right, I'm sorry, your left leg for a twist. Looking over the left shoulder for a gentle twist. Now take your left leg all the way back to center and take your left leg to the front of the mat to meet the right. Bend the knees, take your hands behind the legs and rock yourself to a comfortable seated position. And we're gonna come into, and we're gonna come to our butterfly. So bring the sole of the feet together, roll the shoulders back, lengthen the spine, and just butterfly the legs. Take a deep breath in here, and on the exhale, slowly start folding forward, keeping a flat back. Maybe taking your forehead or your third eye to your mat, and avoid rounding the spine. So it's better if you just come halfway down instead of rounding the spine to come all the way down. So just keep breathing in here. Slowly come all the way up. And now take your legs all the way to the front of the mat, preparing for your Paschimottanasana, forward fold. So move the flesh out of the way. Option to bend the knees or keep the legs straight and engaged so your toes are facing up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slowly start falling forward. So remember in here, we have the option to use a strap, a belt, or a towel by placing whatever prop you have in the middle of your feet, and then just walk your hands down, keeping a straight back. Once again, remember it's better if you just keep a straight back instead of rounding the spine. Another option is to bend the knees. So you can bend the knees and take the chest a little closer to your thighs. But avoid rounding the spine. You want to keep this straight, natural line. We're going to be here for two more breaths. slowly come back to center. Now send the legs back, come into your tabletop and let's warm up the rest. So taking your fingers to the outside of the mat, rocking side to side, spreading all 10 fingers. And start making circles with your hands. Going in different direction. Mm -hmm. 
flipping your hands upside down so the palms are facing the sky. Bend the elbows, or keep your elbows straight. You can rock back and forth and you can rock side to side. Flip your hands back to the mat, tuck your toes and push yourself into your downward facing dog. And start walking the dog, coming high on the toes and then your hips all the way back and up. And just keep pressing the mat away. Start connecting to your breath. Connecting breath and movement. Find stillness, bringing both heels back to the mat. Inhale, sweep your right leg all the way up to the sky. Open the hips. And start making circles with the right leg, keeping a straight leg. So I know normally we bend the knee and we make circles, but this time keep a straight leg. So making big and round circles. One more, and then go around the opposite way. Find stillness, taking the right leg all the way up. Come high on the toes of the left foot. Take the right knee to the nose or knee to chest. Round in the spine, pushing the mat away and step your right foot through. And we're gonna come into a crescent lunge. So we sweep the arms up, we're high on the left toes and make sure that your right knee step on top of your right heel. Breathe in here. Now reach the arms forward. Lift up your hips. Come back into your high lunge. Reach the arm forward. Back to your high lunge. Bring the left knee to the mat <laughs> and just keep sending the hips forward and up. Take your hands behind your neck and just look up. Micro bend the back, offer the heart. So we're gonna come into a half split so start straining in the right leg, coming into the left knee. Inhale, and on the exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fall. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come back up, bend the knee, take your hands to the mat, and now we're gonna come back into our half split, and we're gonna walk the left hand over the right leg, walking both hands as far as we can towards the right side of the mat, and then pivot your right foot towards the right side. Sending your right hip back and your left hip forward. Now just listen to your body in here. This one can be really intense on your hips.
walk the hands back tuck your toes up the left foot push yourself up coming into your pyramid pose so if you have to make your stand a little bit shorter walk the left foot forward so make sure that both heels are flat on the mat and your back foot is on the 45 sending your right hip back and your left hip forward engage your inner thighs inhale length and keep it flat back exhale fall forward and just breathing here One more breath. Lift up the chest halfway. Inhale, exhale, walk both hands towards the left side of the mat, walking the feet. So we're looking at the left side of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward for your wide-legged forward fold. Keep pressing on the outer edge of your feet and keep your inner thighs engaged. So maybe you grab the big toes, maybe you grab the legs, maybe you take your hands to the mat and just keep a straight back, maybe taking the crown of the head to the mat. And just breathing here. And we're gonna be here for two more breaths. Start coming halfway up. Pivot both feet towards the left corners of the mat. Bend the knees and come into your goddess pose. So option to take your hands to your knees. Maybe take your cactus arms. Maybe you rock side to side or find stillness. Come high on the right toes. Maybe sit a little bit lower. Bring the right heel down. High on the left toes. Maybe sit a little bit lower. Bring him down. Take both hands back to the mat. Send your hips all the way up. And come all the way up. Back into your standing pose. Take your hands to your lower back. Bring your feet in. So now your feet are facing the left side of the mat, pressing on the outer edge of the feet. Roll the shoulders back. Take a deep breath in here. And on the exhale, take a back bend. Keep your glutes engaged. Come back to center. Now walk both feet to face the front of the mat. Step to the front of the mat. Take the arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, jump or walk. Shadow and Dasana. Inhale, up the curl cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reconnect to your breath in here. Bring your feet a little closer together. Inhale, sweep your left leg all the way up to the sky and open the hips. Start making circles with the straight leg, getting into your hip flexors. Stay connected to your breath. Connecting breath and movement. Go around the other way. One more. 
find stillness and the left leg all the way up come high on the toes of the right foot inhale exhale knee to nose bring the left knee towards the chest or knee to nose step your left foot through and come into your crescent lunge find your balance breathing here sweep the arms forward lift up your hips come back to center reach forward back to center one more reach forward back to center right knee and toes to the mat keep reaching up sending the hips forward and up now take your hands to your neck look up offer the heart stir straining in the left leg coming into the right knee flex the foot inhale exhale fall forward inhale come up exhale fall inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale bend the left knee take your hands to the mat stir straining in the left leg coming into your half split and now walk your right hand over the left leg pivot the left foot towards the left side of the mat sending the left hip forward and your right hip i'm sorry your left hip back and your right hip forward creating a really intense hip opener in here breathing listening to your body Walk both hands back to center. Tuck the toes of the right foot. Push yourself up. Walk your right hip forward, making your stand a little bit shorter. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fall forward. Keep breathing in here. Lift up your chest halfway. Inhale, exhale, start walking both hands and feet towards the right side of the mat, coming into your wide leg, wide leg or forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Come up halfway and now pivot both feet towards the right side of the mat. Coming into your goddess pose. So any arm variation is welcome. And now we're gonna come high on our toes. So both feet at the same time. And just breathing here. Bring the heels back to the mat. Take your hands to the mat and start sending the hips all the way up. Walk your feet in and come all the way up. Taking your hands to your hips inhale exhale roll the shoulders back offer the heart take it back bending here 
Engage your inner thighs. Engage your glutes. Come back to center. Now walk both feet to face the front of the mat and walk to the front of the mat. Coming into your mountain pose, arms by the sides, feel grounded through the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, look up. Exhale, jump or walk, chaturanga. Inhale, up the cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment in here to connect to your inner strength, to your inner self. And if your body's asking you for a child's pose, take a child's pose, take a water break. Just do you. Do what feels good for you today. And we stay here for one more breath. Now bring your feet a little closer together. Inhale, sweep your right leg all the way up. Come high on the toes of the left foot. Exhale, knee to nose, round the spine. Shift the way forward, engage your core and step your right foot through. And we're coming into a warrior one, sweeping the arms all the way up. Back foot is on a 45, keeping the hips square, facing forward. Take the arms by the side, shift the weight into the right leg, left leg comes up, warrior three. Swing the left leg forward, take the right hand to the left knee for your dancing Shiva. Kick your left leg back, warrior three. Left hand goes back to the mat, right arm reaches up for your reverse Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Step your left leg back, take your right hand to the inside of the right foot and walk your right foot out. Coming into a lizard lunge, stay high, or you have the option to come down to your forearms. Hugging the right knee towards the right arm or the right tricep. You can rock back and forth. And you can also come into the outer edge of the right foot, rocking side to side. Now bring the left knee and toes to the mat. You can come into the left hand or the left forearm if you're low and take your right hand to the right knee, pushing the right knee out and look up. Gently opening the right hip just a little bit more. You can stay here or you have the option to bend the left knee, grab the foot, taking the foot a little closer to your glutes to stretch your quad. Release.
And from here, we're going to transition into our skandasana, that low side lunge. So you have the option to place a block under the hip so you can sit on the block. Option to take your hands to prayer. Maybe take your right hand, wrap it around the right knee and take your left arm up. Looking at the left fingertips. Maybe you take a full bind, rolling the left shoulder back. You can bring the hips to the mat. Take your left hand to the right leg, right arm reaches up, and take a side bend. So wherever you are, come back into your skandasana. Frame the right leg. Press down on your hands, sweeping the right leg all the way up to the sky. Bend the knee, flip your dog, and send the hips all the way up. Right arm reaches forward. Bring the hips to the mat, push yourself up, take your right hand to the mat, right leg reaches all the way up to the sky, and take your three-legged vinyasa or your regular vinyasa, and we all meet in downward facing dog, and just breathing here. Bring your feet a little closer together. Inhale, sweep your left leg all the way up. Come high on the toes of the right foot. Exhale, bring the left knee to the nose. Shift the way forward. Step your left foot through. Warrior one. And then come all the way up. Warrior three. Dancing Shiva. Back to your warrior three. Reverse Ardha Chandrasana. Right leg reaches up, left arm reaches up. Hips are square. Step your right leg back. Lizard lunge. So walk your left foot out. Both hands are on the inside of the left leg. Stay high. Or you have the option to come down to your forearms. Hugging the left knee close to your left tricep. Or you can come on the outer edge of the left foot and then just rock side to side. Bring the right knee and toes to the mat. Come into your right forearm or your right hand and take your left hand to the left knee, pushing the left knee out. Open the left hip, open a little bit more. Listening to your body, honoring your body. Maybe you bend the right knee, grab the foot, stretching your right quad. Release. Take both hands back to the mat. Coming into Skandasana, low side lunge. Facing the right side of the mat. Your left toe should be facing the top right corner of the mat. You can sit on the block. You can take your hands to the mat. You can take your hands to prayer. You can exalt. Just do you. Listen to your internal teacher and do whatever your body is asking you to do today. 
And just remember to have fun, to enjoy the moment, to be present. And stay connected to your breath. And whenever you're ready, we're going to meet back in low lunge, framing the left leg. So come behind the toes of the right foot, sweep your left leg all the way up to the sky, bend the knee, flip your dog, send the hips all the way up, left arm reaches forward, wild thing. Take your left hand back to the mat, sweep your left leg all the way up to the sky, and take your vinyasa, and we all meet in downward facing dog for five breaths. And if your body is asking you to take a child's pose, take a child's pose. You can take your knees mat width apart or knees together, sending the hips back to your heels, reaching the arms forward or taking the arms by the sides. Resting your forehead on the mat. Just take this moment to practice gratitude. Feeling grateful for three things. That's it. That's going to change your perspective. It's going to help you find clarity. Find three things that you're grateful for today. And remember to always practice gratitude. Counting your blessings, especially during those moments where things don't seem clear, when we're facing depression, when we feel down, it's important to sit back and just look at the beautiful things that we have in our life. So wherever you are, we're gonna meet flat on our mats. And we're going to do some core. So sweep your arms all the way up. Bring the knees to your chest. And now send your legs all the way up. So engage your core and start taking both legs to the front of the mat. And slowly take both legs all the way to touch your hands and then we're going to bring him down and we're going to come up and then come down and come up and we're going to do this 20 times so that was 18 17 16 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and just bounce. Keep the core engaged, keep breathing. Almost done, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. And now bend the knees and take the knees to the chest and give yourself a hug. Good job, guys. Mm, rock side to side. Bring both heels to the mat. So toes and knees are facing forward. Pushing through the heels. Make sure that you keep squeezing both legs together and squeeze your glute. Maybe walk the shoulders under and then interlace the hands. Option to come high on your toes. Sending the hips a little bit higher. Counter pose to stretch your ab muscles. Bring the heels back to your mat. Release the bind. And now bring the chest back and bring the knees back to your chest, giving yourself one more hug. Send your feet all the way up. Grab the outside of your feet for your happy baby. Rocking side to side to assess the lower back. You can pull the legs with the strength of the arms, getting the knees a little closer to the chest, or a little closer to the mat, opening your hips. You can grab wherever you can on the inside of your legs, maybe your heels, and take it straddle. Release, bring the knees together, take the arms by the sides, and gently drop both legs to the right side, gaze over the left shoulder for a gentle twist. Bring both legs up and now drop the knees all the way to the left and gaze over the right shoulder. You can close your eyes. Bring both knees back to center and prepare for your final Shavasana, taking your feet to the front of the mat and scanning the body from head to toes and just feeling the difference in the body when you first step into your mat. I want to thank you so much for sharing your amazing energy with me. As always, it is my honor guiding you through this beautiful practice of yoga. Wishing you all a beautiful and blessed day. Namaste.